when I say dangerous, I mean that uh, literally just about on a daily basis, sometimes more than once, our police department, our fire department had to respond to a wreck, sometimes with injuries. Uh, it's just that dangerous of an intersection right now. At South Carolina 290 and Interstate 85, the volume of traffic, including massive amounts of truck traffic, is impressive. We are very excited that this is gonna help mitigate some of that. Cameron Fant is the town administrator of Duncan, the home of what will be South Carolina's second Diverging Diamond Interchange, or DDI. Our population is booming. The, the, the traffic that comes through town, you know, to and from work is just getting more and more, so uh, Duncan is a great place to be right now. And even better when the DDI is done. So with the Diverged Diamond, uh, essentially how it works, it works from right to left, allowing uh, the traffic, the left-hand turns, to be protected to make a left-hand turn. As traffic approaches a DDI, it temporarily switches sides. Once it crosses the interstate, traffic will switch back to the other side. This eliminates the need for left turns against oncoming traffic, reduces the number of traffic lights, and increases traffic flow. It'll allow the flow of traffic to actually be better, uh, especially with the build-out of 85 uh, with a lot of traffic now. A little over a year from now, this entire intersection is going to be completely unrecognizable. And the city of Duncan says this is going to be a great thing for the whole area. We're going to have traffic flowing much quicker and much safer. The Department of Transportation decided to use Wavetronic sensors for the interchange because construction will take place in six phases and Wavetronics technology easily adapts with each phase. A, lot easy, a whole lot easier on us. Woody Moore is the contractor installing the Wavetronics sensors at the interchange. Just pull a couple wires, hang your device, and you're, you already aim it when you hang it. You don't have to come back like with the cameras and re-aim a whole lot of different times. Another option would be in-ground loops for traffic detection, but Moore and Fant say they are both much happier with the Wavetronic solution above ground. To be able to move it during this construction period is so much easier. You don't have to put anything in the ground, go back and dig it up later, which causes more traffic delays. Lanes will shift during the six phases of construction. That's why the DOT chose the temporary to permanent solution using Wavetronic sensors. We don't have to come in and cut a loop in a different lane when they do the lane shift. It's all just aerial. And what they can do is they can go in our software and they can change the lanes to configure it to the roads that we have for the diverse diamond. Fant loves the technology, but as the guy in charge of helping things run smoothly in this town, he factors it down to the basics. And we're going to have much happier citizens and, and happier visitors so they can go to Chick-fil-A or go get some gas and uh, uh, ha have the time it takes to, to get there uh, much faster and safer for them. If you are interested in how Wavetronics can help your community, learn more at wavetronics.com or schedule a time to meet with one of our traffic experts in a digital traffic lab at wavetronics.com slash lab.